a letter to the Prime Minister um, on the 7th of May um, asking him you know, to condemn the kidnappings. He's done that. We really appreciate it. We thank the Prime Minister for taking um, that initiative. And what we're asking for in addition to that is that the government of New Zealand should offer its assistance to Nigerian government in terms of you know, whether it's intelligence support, whether it's anti-terrorism personnel, whatever the government can do. Real men. Don't buy girls. Real men. I actually think it does help bring awareness in other parts of the world internationally to put political pressure on um, countries and organisations to act. We are here to support our girls from Nigeria. Yeah, they're around our age and we kind of just want them back. It's not fair. Our girls. When do you want it? Now! What do you want? Bring back our girls! When do you want it? Now! When do you want it? Now! Bring back! Our girls! Bring back! Our girls! Bring back! These abductions should never have happened. Amnesty has information that the Nigerian government had advanced warning of the kidnappings and yet failed to adequately respond even then. It seems that it has only been through the art cry of individuals, both here and in Nigeria and across the world at events much like this that has caused the Nigerian government to take the situation seriously. We are students ourselves and even when we're not students anymore we need to protect other people who, who might not have the power to protect themselves. As people of New Zealand, as we have power in our in just in the way that we live, in that the way that we have a government that works for us, we need to make sure that we make a stand about other people who don't have as much freedom, who might not have as much aid, and we need to make sure that we are always reaching out for other people. Thanks, girls. When we first thought of making the mat march in the first place, I I, I wasn't sure that there was going to be a lot of support. I thought it'd be me and my mom on the Parliament steps asking for what seemed to be a pretty big ask but um, after I brought up the subject at school my principal was all for it the girls in my school were all for it everyone just seemed to it, it seemed to explode in our school and they were just really supportive of, of the girls and of our cause well we just came to support I like we understand we're all students so I think it's a good cause and yeah why not I believe everyone should have a choice to choose whether or not they want to study or not not Having the girls, the girls, they don't have any of that. They got that right taken away from them, and that's not right. If you had the chance to say a message to the girls, what would that be? We all love you. We're strong. strong. We support you in yeah. every way. Hope. And you'll get rescued yeah. someday soon. Stay strong. We're coming. We're with you, and we're, we're going to do everything we can to get you back.